Hi everybody! I am obviously in your science lab. I thought perhaps you might like to see the place a little bit because it's been so long since anyone's been in here. Um, and I think you probably can notice that the tank is still here, the skeletons are still here, um, the permanent mural is still on the wall as it will always be and and i'm still here um but the lab tables are not they're out in the hall waiting for you to come back to school and for us to all be together in the science lab what's in here now uh, are the is a fifth grade bubble so you notice that there's there are some science tables here um, but they're serving as desks with these really crazy, wacky chairs that you can like really roll around on, which uh, for a person like me, it, it presents a hazard because I'm so clumsy. Um, anyway, so today you're going to do some chemistry. I know everybody, I see your faces smiling and your eyes lighting up. Everybody loves chemistry and there's so much simple chemistry to be done. It's, if you look up kitchen chemistry, um, there, you would be surprised at how much there is to do. So today, I'm thinking uh, that perhaps that you have already done this little demonstration but you may not have known why it happened the way it does did or uh, really what was going on so that's why I am here <laughs> so I um, part of what you need is you need you need a teaspoon of salt you need a fourth of a cup of vinegar, and I have my vinegar over there, so I'm not gonna reach out of the screen to, to get it. And you pour the vinegar in this clear non-metal container and stir, and then pour the salt in, and you stir it up until the salt is, you can't see the salt anymore. And I have to be honest with you, it feels like there are pickles everywhere in this room because it just really reeks of vinegar and they remind me of, that reminds me of pickles but anyway and then you search around for five pennies that you don't have to use five you can use as many as you like but um the demonstration that i look that i found just suggested that you use so I got five and they're supposed to be really kind of like dirty and dark, which is they've been oxidized. That's a big word. You know when you bite into an apple and you just leave it there for a while and when you come back, it's kind of brown? That's oxidation that has happened to that apple. Um, I think the same thing might happen when you uh, like peel or slice potatoes raw potatoes and leave them and when you come back they're a little bit brown and that's oxidation so anyway these pennies are severely oxidized so I'm going to put them in this solution of solution of salt and vinegar and then I'm gonna let my, my new friend, everybody loves meeting new friends. Well, I met a new friend, I think his name, if I'm remembering correctly, is Enrico. And he is going to count to 10. I'm gonna leave these pennies in here for 10 seconds. And oh my gosh, they're changing already. Can you see? Well, I don't know if you can see or not, but they're changing. So let me get Enrico and ask him to, to join us, please. And he'll, and if you're taking Spanish, would you count along with him? That would be great. It would make him not feel alone. Alrighty, so 
I'll come back on in a minute. Hola, I am Enrique, oh. and I am a living language Spanish e-tutor. Now I'm going to teach you how to count in Spanish. Uno, dos, dos tres, tres, cuatro, cuatro cinco, cinco, seis, seis siete, 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 ocho, ocho nueve, nueve, diez. Yes. You just met... Oops. Okay. Well, it's like I said, he was a new friend, so I didn't really have his name right. Um, so, that's 10. And now I'm supposed to um, bring the pennies out, which means I have to stick my fingers in the, um, in the vinegar water. But look, and I'm supposed to let them dry. But I wanna, I want to like show you right away because look at this. Can you see that sh how shiny? I don't know if that's showing up very well on the screen, um, but it, they're very shiny. The copper has come back to the pennies. Oh my goodness. And I also, as I was reading about this demonstration, it said if you rub, if you just rub even the um, after they've been sitting there, if they still have oxidation on them, if you just rub the oops, if you just rub them with your fingers, it will come off. And by George, it has. But I have to caution you: if you have any cuts on your fingers, like I do. Um, it, 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 it stings like I have a cut on this finger and I, I'm just ready to just yell out loud ouch really big and loud but I'm not because I'm an adult and I'm just going to just keep rubbing and uh, trying to get this one clean it just it needs to soak, soak a little longer than 10 seconds but it's it is getting clean and now I have two fingers that are stinging they're not burning there's it's a stinging feeling so i guess that's why you probably want to do this with an adult and you can ask them to stick their fingers in the pickly smelling vinegar juice solution i should be more scientific because um you never know who's watching this one is so dirty, it just really needs to stay in there a little bit longer. And oh my goodness, I think, I think I saw some bubbles. I'm not sure. I think I observed some bubbles. Um, but I'm not sure if they're just bubbles because I've put the penny back in the water and created like bubbles or not but as I as I sit here enduring the pain of my stinging fingers now this one's stinging um, I was digging in some dirt today and I probably shouldn't have done that without any gloves on but can you see how much shinier even the one down here that looks dark is really shiny and so this is this has gotten the copper oxide off of the penny because that's what penny pennies are made out of copper, and well they're coated with copper because these pennies are sort of new pennies. Um, and I just wanted to show this to you because it's really cool. I mean it's really really cool. And then there is uh, there are two other tests that you can perform uh, on your own. I'm not going to break the surprise, but you can do it, do them on your own. And, and why is this happening? Well, vinegar is a, is an acid and you know, acid like, you know, it's a, it's a mild acid. It's not the kind of acid that would just kind of like eat your skin off or anything like that like because I still have skin on my fingers that are stinging <laughs> so I, I I forgot to rinse rinse the vinegar off 
I forgot to rinse the vinegar off in just plain old water. And then, yeah. But there's another demonstration where uh, you leave it on and see what happens. You'll love, you're gonna love it. So anyway, for the other demonstration, all you really need is um, it says nuts and bolts but uh, what what I didn't have any nuts I actually I had some screws but they're from like the stools you know and I, I didn't want them to to I didn't want anything to happen to them so I used these metal washers so anyway there are two more tests that you can do and um, let me know what you think, okay? Bye, everybody. I hope you enjoyed seeing your science lab. I can't wait to see you again. Send me a message. <laughs> Bye.